Hello everyone and welcome to fun learning section of my channel that is Driving Deep into English. In this section, I will be delivering talks on interesting aspects of English language, interesting things about the language. This is something not out of your syllabus, but this is something it's very close to my heart. I enjoy nuances of the language. That is what I'll be sharing with you. Mm -hmm. This is all also for all those who ever asked me how to build or improve your vocabulary. That's what we'll uh, deal with in this sections. So let's begin. First section is about etymology and introduction. Etymology is the history of a linguistic form, say a word, shown by tracing its development since its earliest recorded occurrence in the language. Which means for the first time when the word came into uh, use from there to here till today, tracing its birth to journey so far. Well, I promised you that uh, this will be fun class. So if this definition is a little confusing, let me simplify it. It is the linguistic science that investigates the origin of a word, its relationship with words in other language, and its historical development. In very simple words, etymology is story or the history behind a particular word or a bunch of words. So, considering present situation, I'll be taking up about pandemic or epidemic. I'll explain later why, uh, as I told you that I will be talking about root words in my first slide, then why I'm talking about pandemic and epidemic. Because today's talks Keyword is pan. That later, for now, what is COVID-19? Is it pandemic or is it an epidemic? Demic word is a suffix which means characteristic of or pertaining to a people or population. In present scenario, ailment of. Demic is ailment or pertaining to a people or a population. So is this epidemic? An epidemic is a disease that affects a large number of people within a community, population or region. Sounds like COVID-19 should be an epidemic, right? No? Let's see. What's a pandemic? Pandemic is an epidemic that has spread over a large area that is it's prevalent throughout an entire country, continent or the whole world. So, which one is correct? Pandemic. You got it? So, COVID-19 is a pandemic. Now, let's take a look at the root word pan. On. Pan is a Greek root word. It's, uh, it has its origin in Greek and I told you it means all. So, here's pan meaning all. Archy. We know monarchy is uh, ruling by one person. So, archy means rule, ruled by. What would pan archy mean? Yes, it means panarchy. It's universal rule. Asia is cure for a disease. Asia means cure for a disease. So what would pan Asia mean? Cure for all diseases. Did you say that? If you did, then you are absolutely correct. Panacea is cure for all diseases. Demic. We just discussed it. Demic means relating to people. Like democracy is a ruled by people so demic is relating or pertaining to people pandemic is relating to all people universal panorama you must have heard uh, this word a lot it's a feature in your 
camera or mobile camera it is an unrolled picture so what does panorama mean panorama is a picture all unrolled part by part right you are getting better at it let's see sophi sophi is wisdom you have heard philosophy as an wisdom so uh, it's a study panosophy pansophy is universal wisdom if you if you said that you are correct again now a quick little quiz for you theo means gods or relating to gods theon is dedicated to or for the gods so what would pantheon mean did you say for the gods you have done a very good job you are correct it is a temple dedicated to all gods if you have given correct answer you deserve a prize as well so here are pictures of pantheon in rome the outside from the outside and the inside of the beautiful pantheon this structure is in rome so thank you for listening to the first class have fun time until we meet next thank you